Hello and welcome. Today we will look at some simplification question. The first question over here is 5 g raised to the power 5 multiplied by 3 g raised to the power 3. Now at first of all the constants multiplied with each other and the answer become 15. As we know that when the same variables multiply with each other here the variable is g then the power add. So 5 plus 3 add with each other and the final answer will become 15 g raised to the power 8. Next question we have p square q cube whole square multiplied by p q cube whole cube. Here we have two variables p and q. So first we will solve the power. P, now p uh, now it become p raised to the power 4 q6 multiplied by p raised to the power 3 q raised to the power 9. Now for same variable power is going to add and this variable multiply with the other variable uh, and the answer become p4 plus 3 multiply by q6 plus 9. Now adding up you will get the value p raised to the power 7 and q raised to the power 15. Look at another question in which there is a division function. So first we will uh, solve the square or the power on the whole bracket. So the question becomes 4x square y is the power 4 z is the power 6 divided by 2x y square z cube. Now uh, dividing constants with each other we will get 2 and in, uh, in case of division uh, the power on the variable subtracts. We will subtract the power uh, on the variable in the denominator from the power in the variable uh, in present in the numerator. So the question will become 2 x is the power 2 as x is the power 2 is present in the numerator and the power of x in the denominator is 1. So 1 will be subtracted from 2. Similarly for y we have subtracted um, 2 from 4 and for the z we have subtracted 3 from 6. So the answer will become 2xy square z cube. Here we have another question 1 whole number 1 over 3 uh, power minus 3. First of all, we solve this whole number which become 4 over 3 minus, uh, power minus 3. In order to remove the power minus 3 into the positive form, we will uh, divide it by 1. And after uh, dividing and uh, multi uh, changing into the multiplication, so the denominator become the numerator and the numerator become denominator. So it will become 1 into 3 over 4 whole power q and your answer become 37 over 64. Now look at another question e raised to power minus 4 into e is the power minus 5. Here we have a variable e as we all know when the variable is same power add here minus 4 will be added into minus 5 but as we know that plus multiplied by minus is equals to minus so E, uh, the uh, question become e minus 4 minus 5 and e, in it equal to e raised to the power minus 9. In order to convert the power minus 9 into positive, we will divide it by 1. So the answer will Here we have another question uh, which is 2 q raised to the power minus 2 whole power minus 2 divided by 4 over q whole square. First of all, we will make this minus 2 in the pow uh, power become uh, positive so uh, for that we will do 1 over 2 q minus 2 whole power square we have divided this um, factor with 1 now changing division sign into multiplication as we know that the numerator become the denominator and the denominator become the numerator so it becomes uh, q over 4 whole square now further solving we will have 1 over 4 q raised to the power minus 4 into q square over 16. Now here is the, the variable is same which is q and we know whenever the variable is dividing with one another so the power subtracts. So here uh, 
q in uh, the power of q in the numerator uh, is 2 and uh, in the denominator it's minus 4 so by 2 uh, subtracting minus 4 from 2 we will have 2 minus minus 4 as we know minus multiplied by minus will become plus so it becomes 2 plus 4 and in the denominator we will have 4 into 16 which is 64 so the final answer will become q raised to the power 6 over 64 keep practicing maths and enjoy the class thank you